My mother had a tough childhood, she and her brother. They grew up very poor. And uh, then she met my father, who was a rich, handsome young man from White Plains, New York, wealthy community. And she was a student nurse in Greenwich. And they had a flaming romance. They had a 1924 Buick as a wedding present. I did was volunteer to go in the Marines, but my parents wouldn't sign the papers, which was probably a lucky thing. A lot of my classmates didn't, didn't come back. Class of 42. A lot of them went right to North Africa. But I got accepted into the V-12 program at Tufts, which was a Navy program to hold kids back from the draft that they thought they could make officers out of. So it was quite a break for a lot of kids. If you could afford to get into college, they would take you. But it was a lot of uh, economic discrimination. If you couldn't afford college, and college in those days was a, was a matter of affording it. It was expensive and uh, not so many scholarships. I had three semesters of college as a civilian, the summer and two winter semesters. Then the following summer, I had a few weeks off, and I was, I, late in the summer, I started in the B-12 program as a Navy uh, seaman, apprentice seaman, it's called, lowest rank in the Navy. And uh, so I went up to Hampton Beach and uh, met Connie. Well, we went on the boardwalk and uh, had a big romance. Okay. It was very nice. But we got engaged uh, about maybe a month later, but we didn't get married until January 45. She wouldn't marry an enlisted man. She wanted to wait until we got, I got my commission. So we did. And uh, then we went on a honeymoon in North Conway skiing. We had the bridal suite. I got my commission. The war in Europe was over. This was middle of 1945. I got my commission in January. By mid-year, the, the war in Europe was over. And we were carrying troops back. And went to Tufts, continued uh, went back to Tufts as a junior. And uh, had two years of college. Then went on to graduate school. And uh, we lived in student housing, which was at the time was quite primitive. It was a place called Stearns Village, and they called it Sperm Village because there were so many babies born there. <laughs> and there were everybody was having babies and buying houses and raising families. Everybody doing the same thing. Clark, Clark was born uh, ten months after we were married, nine and a half or something. And uh, he, he was with us in Sperm Village. And uh, we bought a little house in Boxborough. I think it was uh, $4,800 for the house, an acre of land, brand new house. That was, uh, let's see, that was between, I went to a year of graduate school at Tufts, got a master's degree. It was between the senior year and the graduate year at Tufts that uh, we moved to Boxborough, and you were born there. And I spent the summer digging a well. We had a well, we had a dug well, but it wasn't deep enough. I had to go down every so often to get out on the end of a rope. And I used to kid mother, she, every six hours she'd come out and check on me. <laughs> 